All right, quick rundown. So I just had to pull your pinion and the ring gear assembly out of the third member. So there's the fresh bearings and everything inside there. Um, so I found out the pinion depth is incorrect. So the pinion depth means that the pinion gear is too close to the ring gear when it's installed in the case. So there is a shim that's right there. You can see it's, it's like a little flat washer right there. That's because this bearing sits in the housing in a fixed position and this shim is adjustable, pushing the pinion closer or further away from the ring gear. Now that pinion shim is 0 0.0775 inches thick. Um, so less than one tenth of an inch. Um, we're gonna increase the size by 0 0.003 inches. So we're gonna put in, uh, or no, decrease the size by 0 0.003 inches and we want to find a shim that is 0 0.0745, which I have loads. I have hundreds of shims. These are all my pinion shims, so I'll mess with one of those guys. But basically, I have all these things here. This is the solid pinion spacer, that guy there. This is what it would normally be like, the, the bearing installed inside the diff. The solid pinion spacer is what keeps the distance between these two bearings. So, and that's what adjusts your preload. This is a crush sleeve. This can just be crushed and it can almost automatically adjust. This is not crushable. That's why we have shims. And each of these shims have a measurement that I've measured out. This one is 0 0.0101 inches thick. I have four of these all together, all different variances. And I basically, um, I found out that my pinion preload was too tight. So I need to add in some shims to be able to have tension on these two bearings pushing away from each other. And it's gotta be exact, like perfectly exact. So I'm making an adjustment there because our solid pinion spacer is 1.813 inches thick. The old crush sleeve was 1.856 inches thick. We added a 0 0.043 shims to it, which is not enough. So we need to make our pinion stack be 0 0.0490 inches thick to get our pinion preload within spec. So we're gonna make two adjustments at once, changing our pinion depth and changing our pinion preload all in one go. And I still have to press off this bearing without damaging it, which is quite easy, but we'll, uh, yeah, that's what's going on. Okay, bye now.